What's going on, gardeners? Today I'm going to share you the mistake that many people make, including myself at first, that reduces your cucumber harvest by over 50%. So we can see here, we have this cucumber, this bush cucumber vine. We have actually two plants right here. And uh, they just got decimated by the heat, you know, after its first flush of cucumbers. These were very prolific. So these were definitely very good cucumbers. And technically, you can nurse these along. There are flower buds right there. But what I recommend and what I will be doing pretty soon is I will be cutting these vines out right there at the base. And this is the tip, succession sowing. So I have two brand new uh, cucumber, Bush Champion cucumbers that I have just started uh, about two weeks ago. That's what you want to do is every, because see these you can harvest in 60 days. I planted these in late April. It is now mid-July and at the, you know, around the 60 day mark, because that's when they start to ripen and you get your harvest, you want to start another round of cucumbers. Because if you have a long growing season, anything over 100 and uh, 10 120 days you want to go ahead and do this because older plants like this are susceptible to the heat you can see that and the you know nutrient deficiencies are more susceptible to pests especially if you live in a more humid climate they'll get overtaken by uh, powdery mildew and uh, other diseases so but if you have a young fresh set of plants that are already acclimated to the you know upper 80s 90s uh, uh, the temperatures these will uh, make it through and produce more cucumbers for you while this while it may still produce another cucumber or two it may take a very long time and you don't want to waste your time trying to nurse uh, an unhealthy cucumber because that's just the life cycle of the cucumber it produces most of its fruit you know within the 60 70 day mark this depends what variety you're getting and then what happens is it just naturally wants to die back uh, it's no use trying to fertilize and put more inputs into a plant that's not going to produce more or thrive so instead you just restart kind of like a reset button and i'll uh, just cut those off throw them away especially if they're diseased uh, don't compost it unless it's just, you know, regular uh, sun damage and, you know, wilt and whatnot. Just uh, don't uh, make sure if they uh, are diseased, don't compost it or just don't leave it on the surface. Get rid of it. And then what I'll do is I'll just plant this, fertilize uh, these little cucumbers right in its place. And I will have another abundant harvest of cucumbers in the next, you know, 40, 50 days. Uh, so that, I hope you liked this video and really got something out of it. You know, I'm just sharing what... Uh, has worked for me in the past uh, just seeing this is a very important tip because I want you to make sure you get the most uh, cucumber harvest and technically this works for uh, melons as well short day melons um, but I don't have quite a long enough growing season to do a second succession planting of uh, melons so uh, until I see you in the next video, leave some comments, uh, tips for me on what other plants you do succession sow in your climate. And until I see you in the next video, get on growing.